So you finished the belly burn and now you're wondering what I should do next coach. Well, the first thing you have to understand is depending on who your coach is, what you did in the last two weeks isn't sustainable for the next two months. And so what you need to do is ascend. Now your coach is gonna give you a plan to help you ascend back to a normal style of eating that's still gonna help you to lose the weight that you wanna lose or get the muscle that you're looking to gain. But ultimately you wanna do what's called a reverse diet. So what I like to do with my belly burn clients is whatever we did on the week leading up to the photo shoot, I'd like to reverse that. So if the photo shoot was on a Saturday, I would start on Monday because Saturday and Sunday are reset calorie days, baby. It's gonna be your load days. You're not gonna gain any fat from it because your body was in a caloric deficit already. You might gain some water weight because carbs absorb a lot of water and you might have cut a little bit of water before you did the photo shoot, but ultimately we wanna reverse diet it. So what you would do is take Friday and make that your Monday. Take Thursday, make that your Tuesday. Wednesday, et cetera, et cetera. And then you could basically run a belly burn challenge into the next belly burn challenge where you start to ascend your calories. So what you would do is take your week four of the belly burn and you would make that week one of getting into the next belly burn, which could be four weeks from now. So week four is now your new week one. Week three is your week two. Week three is your week three. Week four is your week four, right? Or week one is your week four. So you can see how you started here, you dropped it down, and then you brought it back up. Now, just because the belly burns over, doesn't give you a free passage to eat and do whatever you want. You still wanna get your five to six workouts a day at the bare minimum, Workouts should be your base. Now your body and your brain and your palate has gotten used to these sweet, savory foods that you might've eaten on the Saturday and Sunday where you're having high carbs, high sweets, et cetera, et cetera. So it might be hard to reverse it, but you have to understand that it's temporary. And after you do three or four days of clean eating again, your body will stabilize. Now you have that mental battle of holding yourself accountable and some people will actually team up with a couple friends where they'll hold each other accountable until the next belly burn challenge. So that's what I'd recommend for you is to make sure that you're doing your workouts. Reprint out a tracker sheet if you had it to make sure that you're getting your steps, your workouts, and you're getting your supplements and your water in. And then continue this until the next belly burn challenge and keep doing this. And I'd recommend to do every single belly burn for at least a full year. By doing this for a full year, you're gonna be six to seven months of consistency, because they're all 28 days, and we usually run anywhere from six to seven belly burns a year just based on how the calendar works. And so that's gonna be six to seven months of you being completely on point. So that if you do try to do the nutrition part on your own, and honestly, nutrition is super tough, right? We get it, I understand it as well. So even if you fall off your nutrition, at least it's only gonna be a couple weeks until the next belly burn challenge. So if you can put a full year in of six to seven belly burns, and let's say you can get two good months on your own, that means that you've only had three months where you fell off. And I'd rather take nine good months than nine bad months because you're gonna see, you're gonna see massive amounts of results in that first year, and then you're gonna build up a bunch of routines that are gonna be hard to fall off, and you're gonna show that in that second year, you're gonna be way more consistent, your nutrition's not gonna be as hard, and workouts are gonna be just like waking up and going for your cup of coffee.